Ladies and gentlemen, I have not spoken for quite some time. I come back again here to tabulate on issues regarding to invasion of the special operations in Ukraine as stated by the Putin administration. So far we have witnessed uh, the scale of destruction of unimaginable magnitude. The significance of this war is to eliminate Nazis within the Ukraine region and it has taken due course and uh, so far the victims are the ordinary people who have got nothing to know how the Kremlin philosophy works or its intention in the, in the operations it's undertaking. War is expensive. War brings challenges. War decapitates. Diplomatic ties decapitates flow of goods investments and movements of people. The blockade caused by this standoff between East and West, the imperialistic Babylonians, comprises of NATO affiliations and a superpower called America that was defeated in Afghanistan by Afghans who are only armed with the AK-47 and Faith and a motorcycle. With all the logistics they had, they failed. They couldn't win. Afghanistan's Afghans, they knew if they prolonged that war for 20 years, there was no way America would have used taxpayers' money to continue digging deep and raising their debt ceiling in trillions of dollars to fund the war in Afghanistan. All these took place within a span of three administrations. The Bush administration, the Obama administration, and Trump administration and Biden administration. There are even four. Putin witnessed all this because he has been serving in the Kremlin since 2002. So he knew, he observed the behavior and he knew when to attack. I'm not supporting the invasion, but uh, I'm supporting the idea of uh, global leverage, economic leverage, political leverage, and diplomatic leverage and fairness. Whoever created Bretton Woods institution in early 1940s and patronized it with dollar, oil as leverage, traded commodity to back the dollar mass printing, he knew he, he got the world at the best. Now is the time for a new revolution. This revolution is initiated by oppression and aggression and escalation and discouragement. I reiterated and I reiterate once again buy land have a banker underneath it no matter how much it will cost you establish greenhouse zero grazing buy a cow buy goats put chickens, farm the land, feed yourself with the food you know is indigenous, that is food you grow. It's not something sedated and put in the shelves for you to go and buy and eat. Inflation is rising and this life we live in a concrete environment that is urbanized environment where we are densely populated. Time is coming for us to shift and go back to the indigenous way of life. Covid hit us. It disorganized everything. The pandemic is dangerous. It caught us unaware. It siphoned all our income saved for future use and other investments. Now, inflation is rising. There is this issue of energy crisis and standoff between West and East. Back to the point, Putin, he wanted to establish the Soviet era, the Soviet empire. This is not something that started yesterday. Even in, 19th, in, in, in 17th century, the Russian Empire used to own entirely northern Russia, northern, northern, northern and western China, all part of the Middle East going up all the way to Eastern Europe and Middle East and Central Europe and Scandinavian Slavics. They used to call themselves Slavics people. He is determined to go to an extra mile. 
he's determined. You cannot change his mind. And what he is doing, me, I'm not supporting him, but I'm saying, I'm happy because Africa never initiated diplomatic dialogue, never participated, never opened their mouth and supported anything. Reason being, we need Rashi for the munitions and other other things. Uh, we need West, already we owe them, and we have colonial treaties in place. So you open your mouth and talk and say what? If African nations open their mouth and support Putin, the West will pull the trigger on IMF and World Bank, Bretwood institution, the same institutions I'm talking about. If we support West, we cannot afford the ammunition without credit from IMF, the same institutions, then Russians will say, we're not giving you our technologies. And we're not giving you subsidized oil. That's what is, that's what is happening. That's what is happening. So the most important thing is to understand how this war works, or how it's functioning. Putin knew if he pull the trigger and remove the regime in Kyiv, he will have a leverage. But what what it is doing is fueling the conflict by pulling in more and more and more ammunition into Ukraine. And Zelensky is staying put. For how long? For how long? Who is winning here? And who is losing? We need to think about it. Let this war not catch you unaware. This is that world war. That world war doesn't just start a blood prey and it is spread like bushfire. It begins like this slowly, slowly, territory by territory. Countries taking sides. The West and their allies, they fuel the conflict in one direction, and the other defendants, they fuel the conflict on the other side. We are in a very tricky situation and we need to pray. This will not end up well. It will not end up well. Mark my words. It will not add up well. Many millions of people will go hungry. And a lot of confusion is coming from all directions. I want to hear. What are you going to say? Hit that subscription button and notification. Like and share and I will resume shortly to explain more concerning this issue.